Okay, uh, got a little rent rod update. I redid my steering because it was too low. It was dragging. Raised it up about three inches, cut the bracket off, welded the L bracket on the bottom, big piece of plate steel. Uh, got the steering box over closer to the frame where it should be. It looks a lot better. Give me more room. A lot more stable. I got more all the bite I need on my pin arm and everything. So that's real good. Uh, I bought the Speedway disc brake conversion kit. Put on here. I really like these. Now it's got some good brakes. Uh, being my axle is homemade, you know, set up. Uh, my shocks are on the back instead of on the front. So I had to put the disc brakes on the front of the rotors instead of the back. So I had to swap them, switch sides, and turn them over. They work just fine that way. They're really good set up. I like them. They're pretty easy. Uh, the only problem is the seals are really hard to get in the back. I boogered up three of them, so I suggest you order a couple extra seals just in case you like me. Also, I just got these 1932 Ford headlights put on. Got rid of the tin, uh, the little seven inches. Got these big ten inches. I think it really beefed up the front looks. Looks a lot better. Went ahead and got my nose a horn down. I did under the headlight. Uh, sounds pretty good. Uh, give you a sound check here. Push the little button. It works pretty good. Got the, you know, steering wheels all in there. Floor fixed up. Uh, I'm just really getting happy with the way the little rat rod's starting to look. I mean, them headlights are just so much better. Just, the front end just looks so much better with them big headlights. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, we'll be back later or some more. Also, I uh, had to change my headlights in since these are the old ones, the aluminum ones that I bought. I tried to cut these things and make them work, but man, these things just don't cut worth a flip. I uh, wasn't happy at all with these going, so what I did was I bought the steel tea bucket ones. Get the little holes in them here. Uh, real nice little deals. The whole set for $39. Uh, these Model A headlights, when they mount the bar, is you know the cups on them are kind of tilted. So when you put them on a flat deal, the best you could do these things were laying backwards. So what I had to do was pretty simple. I just uh, heated them right in here, put your driver in, just twisted them forward, so I could get the headlights to stand up right. I mean, it works really good. I'm real happy with them. Uh, I think it looks better too because the, they're lower than they were. So I think it just worked out really good. Okay, this is going to drive all the fellow Mopar freaks crazy, but uh, what we have here is a genuine 1970 Dodge Challenger flip top gas cap. I got it out of a salvage yard oh, 30, 35 years ago. Car was total, getting ready to be scrapped. No boy just let me have it. And I took it off, three screws, and I've had it all those years. And I decided, you know, I want to do something with it, so I put it on my fuel tank. Uh, just had to grind it out a little bit around the center, to get a snug fit on here, and I've epoxied it on there. Uh, and behold, there it is, and it's a way better seal. The cap that came with this tank just doesn't seal very good at all. But it's got enough cracks in the old gasket. I think won't be any venting problems. If there is, I'll make a vent or something. But I've been holding on to that all these years. And I finally thought about it and said, you know, I bet I can make it on there somehow. I got a steel wallet and you know all that. It's it's pretty dirty. But yeah. I, didn't have a challenger at the time, but I decided I wanted it. I'm glad I got it.